dear diary greetings i'm often asked what my religious beliefs are quite a few people who are or have been close to me they find it necessary to slot me into some kind of uh, slot some they they need to place me in some kind of a shelf and most often those shelves are decided by how much a person is like us and whether he is closer to us or to them so that's often the case with most people and one of the most important things that people tend to define other people by is their religious persuasion of course there are other things the color of skin the language you speak the economic class i mean um differentiations galore that's how we understand the world but uh, somehow i find that um, uh, there are some matters in which people tend to kind of uh take people out of their lives and you know put them in some kind of a dustbin or in some kind of a shelf which they don't want to look at again typically based upon two things one is sexuality i don't understand why sexuality is so important to people i think it is so important because they've kept it bottled and uh, i mean it's just a natural thing live with it enjoy it and be done with it i i don't know why people have to make uh, a huge colossus out of it but they do uh, so for example if i tell people that uh, i am gay some of them tend to kind of want to remove me from their lives similarly if i tell people that i am an atheist they tend to kind of want to do the same well i could simply say you know your call and i could simply move on with my life after that i typically don't like to do it because uh, i recognize that i have had uh, the good fortune of having lived a life and and the good fortune of having been born the kind of a person who looks at things rather deeply and understands them much better than other people do and is able to interconnect the various things in life uh, much better than other people uh, that uh, you know has consistently turned out Uh, to be one of my strengths interconnectedness uh, the uh, the ability to empathize with people the ability to ideate that is in other words connect various ideas and come up with a different idea based upon the other ideas uh, so invariably i uh, tend to understand these things much better than other people because a i am interested in those and b probably that's how i'm wired so uh, i think that it becomes my responsibility to to not similarly reject those people out of my life uh, you know if somebody has put me in a dustbin i don't think that as a corollary i must also put them in another dustbin yeah this guy is an idiot he will never understand he'll he'll just be so dumb for the rest of his life and that's his life and uh, you know let him live the way he wants to live so i often try and um uh, <laughs> well like reform myself in uh in a shape that they can understand all the time 
keeping my fundamentals intact so at no point in time uh, do I compromise on my fundamentals but I still want to be able to put myself or my principles in such a way that other people can understand and relate to those and if it helps them well and good if it doesn't well and good I can continue to remain in their dustbin that's okay it's not a problem with me I just don't want to put them in the dustbin so 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 why such a long preamble because what I want to share now is if I were to draw out my religious principles as it were what would they be so let me try I think I've been thinking about this over the last few days and I think I can uh, I can mm, cull them down summarize my quote-unquote religious beliefs to three uh, fundamentals so let's start with it the first one I feel that it is critically important for me to get a perspective to be able to put myself my ego as it were the unit that I am within this body and supposedly within this mind in a perspective with the rest of the universe where does it lead me to quite clearly there is a system according to which everything seems to be ordered the very fact that I can think means there is a system there is an order now, everything might be an illusion maybe it's just that I'm a brain in a vat and somebody's playing the fool with it fine but there's still a system because without that system this brain in a vat would not function so my little brain tells me that because I can think because I can order my thoughts there certainly is a system which allows me to do it and most probably over overwhelmingly most probably there's a lot more to life lot more to existence than my mere brain if that be so in that case presuming that there is a universe as we see around us that there could possibly be multiple universes or multiverses or whatever it seems like that in this very universe <laughs> there are in excess of four trillion galaxies uh, the, the the scale is just mind-boggling I, I cannot you know I cannot surround that and understand that that many galaxies and each galaxies is again you know billions and billions and of stars and then and then uh, you know so many so many more planets and what am I on this planet except possibly one little piece of crap I mean to be honest uh, I'm, I'm do I sound like I'm affecting this uh, maybe I do uh, I'm sorry if I do uh, but I despite my egotistical nature that sometimes expresses itself despite my pressing certain points I understand realize and appreciate this perspective I I realize that I am extremely small and if there be such a huge universe around me then that order which makes it remain so remain ordered is really I mean beyond mind-boggling so there has to be some power and I, I don't mean it in the sense of a personal God 
I don't mean it in the sense that uh, this power will be swayed by my prayers or this pa power would choose to test me or would any in any way be impacted in any real terms by what I am or what I do or what I think or what I believe and so on. But there is certainly a power, there is certainly a system and this power, this system quite possibly seems to be that absolute truth which I really have no way of understanding very well because I'm, I'm, I'm limited by this, this mind. I'm limited in my understanding by what this mind is, uh, has evolved to understand. And to me it is quite certain that uh, the absolute truth, the real reali reality, the real reality is way beyond what I can really understand. So I don't really want to bother with something which I uh, cannot achieve any measure of success in. What is clear is that there is a power what is clear is that there is a system what is clear is that there are laws and that I exist only in so far as I'm connected to that order therefore I must realize recognize and accept myself to be a part of that great whole WHOLE and in a way lose myself in that in a way negate the illusion of myself being a separate island entity which has some capabilities relative to the whole uh, not really I may have or may not have some capabilities but that is nothing compared to the to the whole therefore this whole sense of interconnectedness this whole perspective gaining it, retaining it and letting it inform the rest of my existence that to me is the first principle. Being, recognizing the interconnectedness being interconnected or recognizing interconnectedness that's what is number one submitting to that whole in a way this belief sounds very similar and is the generic monist belief the generic Advaita belief, non-dualistic belief. In other words, my God is the Spinozan God, is the God of the Upanishads, is the God of Vedat al Vujud, unity of existence. My God, in a way, is the unified whole of universe it is he is whatever the god of sufis and in that respect in the respect that i submit to that god to the God of Mansur, the man 
who said an al haq who said i am the truth loosely translated as i am god and was eventually rewarded with a very painful death sentence by the king of the time his he was uh, what do you say that how do you say that uh, his skin was removed he was skinned and left to die whatever many days he could live without the skin i mean i shudder at the thought and i'm happy that i don't live within the realm and the time of that king but i cannot not say an al haq at the same time which is what mansoor also meant mansoor also said submitting to that unity completely in that sense i also follow islam so i am a muslim i am a hindu i am an atheist i am a sufi figure out what i am but my first principle is submitting to and losing myself in that interconnected whole w h o l e right number 2 now if i believe that such a whole is my real god in that sense it becomes my responsibility my duty to understand to appreciate what that whole is put in the terms of personal god it becomes my responsibility to figure out it becomes my responsibility to figure out what that god desires what uh is going on in that god's mind to understand its mind to understand it so understanding universe is therefore for me a spiritual quest it's a religious quest and we have the ways that we do have for understanding the universe philosophy science all these are the ways of understanding the mind of god as it were therefore the second principle for me is to necessarily be a knowledge seeker the first principle as i said was to negate my individuality and accept completely the interconnectedness of the whole of existence thereby submitting me to the will of god number 2 is to understand the mind of god which in my view can be done only by being a knowledge seeker and using the various tools and methods that are available for me today to seek that knowledge it could be science it could be internet it could be whatever number 3 and the last one life will always bring me in conflict 
with other similar entities as myself who perhaps will see them more as individuals than as parts of the whole or perhaps see themselves as a part of a group where some entities are outside of the group so in other words one sometimes tends to identify only with one's own individualism one's own individual self um, the basic island that exists within a body and within a mind sometimes with a slightly larger group that group could sometimes be one's nuclear family at other times one's uh, extended family at yet other times one's tribe some other times one's uh, you know race or political unit tribe uh, sometimes even a religious group all these are designed to leave something out and when any of these uh, have a tete-a-tete, -tete, have a relationship, have uh, some kind of a give-and-take relationship with me, they would often see me as an outsider and therefore would fight for their rights, would fight for their interests as opposed to those of mine. Now for me, the third principle is to put my interests, my selfish interests, the interests of this body and this mind at the same level as the interest, interests of the other person that I am engaging with in, in whatever transaction or whatever relationship knowing fully well that this is not how the other person is going to look uh, at me the other person is going to look at those are he's going to say those are my interests these are this guy's interests and therefore I must fight for mine and must stay superior to this guy I lose out but that's okay I would still insist on seeing the interest this way. Almost as a rule, in every transaction, I lose out. But that's okay. That's okay. I don't mind. Why? Because of principle number two. Because I'm a knowledge seeker. I typically and, and, and touch wood so far I have always found that I understand things much better than other people I can predict trends better than other people and therefore despite the fact that other people um, look at their interests uh, more dearly than they look at mine and I, I am still looking at them at the same level I still more or less am able to because of my principle number two bring the interests back to the same level and I don't lose out particularly badly I'm still surviving the entire so that's where I uh, put a full stop to my religious beliefs number one being inter interconnected number two mm, being a knowledge seeker number three mm, loosely termed being a giver Uh, I, I don't see the situation as I have to keep giving and others have to keep taking uh, you know that wouldn't be very conducive to maintaining life within this island however whenever there's a relationship that I am involved in I always try to give more than I take. 
always it's 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 an important principle of life for me that i should not die anyone's data whenever i realize that i'm in somebody's debt i try to pay it back sometimes i may not realize i apologize about that non realization to those whose debts i am still carrying or i will carry in the future but that is the sum and substance of my religious beliefs as it were remember i define religion as a simplified packaged philosophy at the primary level and as primitive science at secondary level you pick up any scripture um well not any but um of quite a few religions you find only these two things one some kind of a morality some kind of a um life direction some kind of a philosophy uh packaged in such a way that people can readily um readily uh, identify with it and uh, at least some of those things they can readily execute upon implement in their lives so that's what uh religion is and uh, therefore it is necessary for me uh, to also coach my uh, my uh beliefs or my uh, life guidance principles into that simplified packaged form and uh, secondly like i said primitive science almost um, again many scriptures would kind of try and explain uh, uh, various things in life and on many of those matters we have we now no better but that's okay because it was a science at that point in time when th- that scripture was written <laughs> situation is different today we know more so that's fine and i guess my second principle takes care of that part as well so so that's where i am uh the third principle is of course my um primary or only moralistic principle and i feel that if uh, you execute upon being uh, a giver in every relationship that you are in that in every love re- relationship if you give more love than you take i think life would be way better for all of us well that in 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 short i don't think it's been a very short talk i was planning to make it a short talk but it turned out to be quite a long talk mm, those are uh, the three principles that i really live by that is my religion you can call it islam you can call it hinduism you can call it sanatan dharm you can call it uh, advaita vedanta you can call it Uh, the parts of it which are really buddhist you can call it buddhist you can call it jain you can call it uh, taoist uh, well taoism jainism buddhism hinduism vedantism or islam whatever you want to call it you free to do that i'm all of those goodbye dear daddy